Hey everyone, got five packages here. It's time for another mailbag. Let's get started. First one up is technically a gift for my wife. Uh, she has a nice telescope that she got from uh, Rewards Points. And uh, so this was ordered October 7th uh, to 25th, $18.49. So this is a telescope accessory. And I believe this is called a Barlow lens. Ooh. There is a filter here. Moon and sky glow filter. Interesting. Uh, so here we go. So this is a Celestron branded, but it was only 1849 shipped uh, from China. So I'm not sure if it's actually Celestron. It is taped shut though. Open this up. So basically what this does is I believe it uh, magnifies the image on the uh, telescope two times, like 2x magnification. It's like a really nice box and stuff. Maybe this is legitimate. Maybe they're just not that expensive. Um, but yeah, we uh, we went out and we took uh, we, we took a look at uh, Jupiter and Saturn, and I will post the picture of Jupiter here. Um, if it doesn't look like much, that's because I couldn't get the, there's a little adapter that hooks your phone onto the camera, and that adapter was very cheap and didn't quite work with, uh, with the setup there. So this is two pieces. I can see it does something. I'm going to try to get the lens closer uh, momentarily. Um, this rotates around. Oh, there we go. It threads in. The threads out as well. So it is blacked on the inside, probably to keep down reflections. This is an inch and a quarter. The optics look good. So the, the only downside to these kinds of things is that you lose um, light. So the object becomes dimmer. Not so much of a problem when you're using your, your bare eyes. Your, your eyes can adjust to the dark fairly easily. But when you're using a um, camera, for example, like putting the uh, cell phone up to the uh, lens there, uh, your cell phone will struggle more. Uh, and a DSLR even more. Uh, unless you got an expensive one. Let's see if uh, I can zoom in and take a look at some stuff. I'm just finding it interesting what it does with the focus. Uh, it seems to be like a wide angle thing, but let's see here. Put that up there. I'm not sure if you're able to read what it says there. So it's almost like a microscope. I guess that would make sense at 2x, but I feel like, yeah, I guess you do get a narrower field of view. Okay. So yeah, probably going to wait for a nice day and, uh, Go take some, uh, well, go look at the sky and hopefully maybe end up with some pictures. I don't know. Next one up is this one here, double head screws. I believe this is just some uh, YouTuber things, kind of like hashtag YouTube things or whatever. Um, uh, $11.40, August 23rd to October 26th. Freaking two months. It says double-headed screws. Yeah, indeed. So this is a like universal adapter kit, bag within a bag, for uh, mounting stuff on lighting stands and tripods and stuff. So there's a few accessories here, and I think they are duplicated five times. So we have five of these. One, two, oh, don't know, there's not five of those, only two of those, two, three, four, five of those, oh boy, one, two, three, four, five of those, five of those, so there's only two of these, I'll have to check. Uh, in the description, but basically this post is a standard size for a uh, um, a light stand, so uh, typically like if you have a mount for a light 
um, like a flash or whatever in photography or a video light. Uh, this will be the standard size for it and a little bit of a recess here for the little screw to hold in. Uh, and then a whole bunch of adapters. So these adapters, five of them, uh, quarter 20 to quarter 20, so on both sides with a little bit of a knurled edge here. Okay, that would be, you know, you could probably use it in this to fit it on top of another quarter 20 uh, threaded device or whatever. Or you would use this on your lighting stand and thread a quarter 20 in here type thing. Okay, so a quarter 20 and I think 3 8 is the other size or 5 16 I don't know. This is the Imperial system. I work for a Japanese car dealership, so uh, I'm not quite sure the Imperial threads, but yeah. Uh, on the other on the other hand here got five of these uh, that's the 5 16 or 3 8 thread whatever it is um, and then quarter 20 on the other side so male to male and these lighting adapters have the quarter 20 and 3 8 kind of like that that fits in there and then here you have the uh, quarter 20 inside to uh, 3 8 outside so you can you know adapt this to 3 8 it's basically universal mounting kit for all sorts of things. Uh, and these look like they're 3 8 on one side. They are. And quarter 20 on the other. It is. So, yeah, my plan is to build some arms for the lights. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have a newer lighting setup. I think my Patreon patrons have seen it already, but... There's one light here and one light here, so they're like there instead of there and there like they used to be. They used to be off on the side here. I think the lighting quality is a bit better, but um, I kind of would like some flexibility, some flexible arms, and it might be, you know, 3D printing or using aluminum extrusion and 3D printing or something to figure out a mount, but um, you can't really hang heavy lights off plastic, so that's why I, I bought this kit of accessories, and that'll help me mount things, especially like... I'd, I'd really want a 3 8 thread or, you know, 5 16 or whatever this is, thread holding my stuff on just for security's sake. So, yeah, uh, I got this here because the same thing on Amazon, I paid a eleven forty. same thing on Amazon here is about 30 bucks. So I had to be patient, but it's cheaper like this. Nice little kit to have. This is the kind of thing where you have to order it before you need it because by the time you need it, it's too late to order it. Next one up, we have this one here. It says uh, Termina, yeah, Termina times one, um, four dollars and fifty nine cents, July twenty fourth to October twenty seventh, uh, July, August, September, October. Yeah, three months. That was a long journey for this thing. I think I gave up on these two. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, they're bigger than I thought. I'm gonna have to zoom you in for these. So these are um, PCB mount through hole spade terminals. So they have that little, uh, you know, little floppy ends there. You can see that, and a spade will go into here. Uh, I do have some projects I really wanted to get done, uh, so I ordered these, you know, over three months ago now, and uh, finally get to getting to open them. Um, so those projects can go ahead. Uh, yeah, basically um, anything that has little spade terminally bits onto them, including uh, fuses. This kind of stuff, automotive fuses, um, they go quite nicely into little holders like that. So that's a good way to add fuses to your circuit board. I do already have uh, fuse holders for smaller fuses. So that's not specifically what these are for. So if you want to know, you're going to have to be subscribed to find out. But it um, it's going to be a um, custom tool. Hopefully you're excited for that. Take some guesses in the comments below. I'm going to keep you zoomed in for this next one uh, because it is quite small. Uh, this one, did I? Yeah, I taped this back shut. I could not find the tracking for this anywhere. I couldn't figure out what this was so I had to open it. Uh, it turns out it's something I had bought with my Amazon affiliate money which is a thanks to you folks. Um, so this is $12.09. Order October 7th arrived on the 27th. This was uh, on Amazon but it was from a Chinese seller. 
Um, yeah, if you guys can go and click those uh, affiliate links if you're going to be buying something on Amazon anyways. Uh, the .ca ones are mine, the .com ones are another maker's. Another maker has sent me, you know, hundreds of dollars worth of stuff, if you remember his mailbag specifically. So, uh, you know, he's he, he, he gets to put his Amazon-only affiliate links for the states on my uh, descriptions. Um, that's going to change soon, but um, the guy deserves some support too. Um, it's just for other reasons. It's not for any personal reasons that it's going to change. Um, but this here was completely paid for by the affiliate money generated by you guys on Amazon.ca. So thank you for that. I think you just have to click my affiliate link once and then um, it's good for a little while. Just come come back and click it a couple times. If you use uh, services like Honey, um, they do override your um, your affiliate clicks, unfortunately. Okay, so what is this? Well, uh, some of you remember the BMG extruder, the twin gear extruder. This is the um, sort of uh, budget version of that. Um, when you want to have a dual gear extruder, so you want you want your 3D printer to uh, grab filament from both sides, kind of like that. You see there, both sides. Filament will go right down the middle, um, but you don't want to spend big bank on a BMG for whatever reason this is the solution this is a all aluminum so or, or and steel these are hardened steel um, this this is the alternative to those expensive BMG things they are great upgrades for Ender 3's for example I believe this goes I mean some some like this something like this and then uh, Hmm. Hmm. Either way, the arm uh, will mount onto there. This mounts onto a stepper motor, uh, and then you get the dual gear engagement, but you still have the open area. And you saw it was twelve dollars Canadian. So this is a great upgrade for like an Ender three or something like that. And uh, that's basically what I'm going to be using it for: upgrading a low cost three uh, D printer. The same things apply as when I installed my BMG. You're going to have to calibrate it and everything. But um, I feel like dual gear extruders should be the norm these days. I could be wrong, but I think I think it's right. So, yeah. If you don't have one of these, I mean, pick one up. I'll put an AliExpress link, and I'll put the Amazon link as well. But, uh, yeah. Any affiliate link helps the channel. So, if you don't mind, click one of those. And last but not least, we have this one. Um, for this one, I want to challenge you. I'm going to give you a couple hints. I need you to pause the video, go in the comments, and guess what is in here. All right? Here are the hints. One, uh, this is something all of you probably have at home. Two, you are able to buy these at the dollar store pre-pandemic, but for some reason, um, at the tail end of the pandemic now, I cannot find these in the dollar store anymore. And three, it costs $15.30, but there's five of them in here. Pause the video, guess in the comments. Best guess will uh, get pinned. All right, enough waiting for you slackers. Here it goes. So October 16th ordered, November 1st arrived. I actually broke mine of these, so I needed a new one. You ready? Oh my god. It's stuck in there. Huh. Thought I ordered red ones. These are uh, USB Type C cables. Um, I had my cable plugged into my phone. And it fell off my desk and fell right onto the USB-C cable, <laughs> breaking it. And I was like, whatever. I just usually buy the dollar store ones. I have a couple dollar store ones here. Um, but they're, you know, they're kind of semi-permanent in their positions. 
the dollar store doesn't have any more USB-C's. I tried three different ones. No USB-C's. Uh, so, these are uh, USB-C's. These were by the brand uh, PZOZ, Pizzazz. And um, I did buy them longer. These are uh, two meter long, I believe. I think so. Um, and these were from the, these were the cheapest I could find for a two meter cable. Uh, and in fact, this, these are like the only USB-C's that didn't end up being something like, something ridiculous like uh, uh, eight or nine dollars each after shipping. So the price you saw there, the 15 something, that was with shipping. So yeah, these look fairly high quality. I mean, I guess I should zoom you in, but um, they have decent strain relief here. The head is pretty small, which is good. We're just going to have to see how they perform. Um, let me know if you're actually interested. I can round up all the USB-C cables in my house and kind of do a, a draw test on them and see which ones of them, uh, you know, drop the least voltage. But only if you guys are interested. So let me know in the comments. Let me get you a zoom in on this, though. Well, here she blows. Uh, first things first, is it USB, uh, is it USB 3 or 2? And I don't know if you can tell just looking down here, but there are more than four pins in the USB type A side of things. You might not be able to see that, to be honest. But there are more than four pins. Just, oh. You know what? I take that back. There are sort of, it looks like there's more than four pins, but there are only four pins. Um, these are USB 2.0 cables. I just double check the listing. They actually say uh, 480 megabits per second, which means USB 2.0. So uh, it isn't mislabeled. They, they are 2.0 and they do say so on the listing. There's a little... Um, cable tie which is actually very nice it's removable too it has that little I don't know if you can see the little loop there you can take this this part off uh, probably my daily driver I'm gonna remove it for sure um, pretty good length here and then the business end you got the USB type C with that look at that stiff strain relief I'm kind of worried that it'll break here at this end of the strain relief they claim this is going to be a 3 amp cable. I don't know. Um, I don't even really know if I have a way to verify that per se. But, hey, there you go. So these things, this is about what I was expecting to pay at the dollar store, about 3 to 4 bucks each. They ended up being 3 bucks each, so AliExpress, pretty good place to pick them up. But it did take me looking through a lot of listings to find this specific one. And these five items make up today's mailbag. Again, I got to give a special shout out to my Patreon patrons. Like some of you know, I am uh, severely underemployed uh, these days, at least until January. Then I'll be good for nine weeks, and then who friggin' knows what happens after that. So uh, it's that kind of support that allows me to get the things that I need to keep producing videos, to um, uh, build cool projects. Uh, and even to uh, treat the wife from time to time with some cool stuff. I really appreciate you guys. And if you guys want to join the ranks down in the comments below or down in the description below, there's a link to join Patreon. Two bucks goes a super long way. For the rest of you, um, I really appreciate you watching. I noticed that the views are way down across YouTube. Uh, I'm really thankful for the views I do have. And if you stuck around till the end of the video, then you are the encouragement, you and my Patreons, to keep making content. Thanks everyone for watching.